Today my grandma woke me up from a nap and I was like, first of all, grandma, how dare you? And secondly, since when do you use Skype? She was in love and I'd ask you how. I mean, why? What kind of love from a nigga would black your eye? What kind of love from a nigga every night make you cry? What kind of love from a nigga make you wish he would die? I mean, shit, he bought you things and gave you diamond rings. But them things wasn't worth none of the pain that he brings and you stayed. What made you fall for him? That nigga had the power to make you crawl for him. I thought you was a doctor, be on call for him. Smack you down. Once I was at a party, just like minding my own business, trying to hit on boys, and texting my mom, when suddenly this like ugly loser in Hogan's comes up to me. And I'm like, excuse me, can I help you? And he's like, Taya, why did you never return my calls? And I was like, what are you talking about? And he was like, since that night that we spent together. And I was like, what night in your dreams are you referring to? And he was like, Taya, we met at Pravda, you took me home, we had a beautiful evening, and then you kicked me out. And I was like, I would never do that with you. And he just wouldn't leave me alone. He kept insisting that, like, we've known each other. Ten minutes later, I was just like, look, if you don't leave me alone, I'm going to tell Marcelo to belong to, like, kick you out of the party. Because there's a boy standing next to me that I'm really trying to hit on, and you're kind of ruining it with this conversation. The boy ended up being my current boyfriend, but that's another story. Anyway, the dude gave up, gave me his business card, and said, you'll remember, and walked away. And then I looked at the business card, and I saw the name, and I realized that he was right. Love is blind, and it'll take over your mind. What you think is love is truly not. You need to elevate and find. Love is blind, 